Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Gaston goes to the vet. Ben! <sighs> Morning, Dad. Haven't you even started packing yet? We're going on holiday today, remember? We're not leaving for ages, Mr Elf. Please try and relax. I'll try, Mrs Elf, but you know I find holidays difficult. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. <coughs> I'm taking Gaston to the vet. Do you want to come along? Yes. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Ben. You've got to stay home and pack your holiday bag. Oh, please let me go, Dad. It's ages before we have to set off on holiday. And we'll be really quick. Gaston's just going to the vets for a checkup. OK, to the vets and straight back. No dawdling. Yes, Dad. See you later. Why is Gaston on a lead? He didn't really want to go to the vet. He's never been before. <coughs> Here we are, the vets. <coughs> Don't worry, Gaston. The vet is really nice. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. We've come to see the vet. <laughs> That's my mum. She's the vet. Come in. <laughs> mum, Ben and Holly have brought Gaston for his <laughs> checkup. <laughs> Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Pop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Mmm, nice healthy teeth. Wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. Here's a sticker for a very brave boy. Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <laughs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. We're back! And not a moment too soon! We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea! No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww! Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags, and I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I going to pack? Hmm, probably simplest, just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> you want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! <laughs> Well done! Gaston's great at catching! <laughs> Here, boy! Catch! <laughs> Gaston! Are you all right? He's hurt his feeler. We'll have to take him back to the vet. <coughs> ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad. Good. So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vet's. Back from the vets? Uh, but, but, but... Uh. Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum, Gaston's hurt himself. Oh, dear. You better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. <coughs> it's a bit sore, isn't it? <coughs> I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust. 
just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. Mrs Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. Oh, he's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr Elf. But he's swallowed the car keys. We have to get them back. Holly, have you got your wand with you? Yes, Mr Elf. Good. Use magic to turn Gaston inside out. <gasps> what? I'm not sure that's a very good idea. We'll have to take Gaston back to the vet. She can get the keys out. Come on, then. Quick! Hello, Gaston. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. <laughs> What's the matter? He swallowed my car keys. Now, Gaston, let's have a look at you. Hmm, I see. Good, good. I have some very good news. Yes? Gaston's feeler is better. Eh? I can take Gaston's collar off. <laughs> Hooray! And here's a sticker for being a brave boy again. Wow, wow. Uh, that's all really lovely and great and everything, but how do I get my car keys back? Ah, oh, that. OK, I'll see if I can find them. Let's take a look in the front end. Uh... Hmm, nothing here. Well... Now the back end. Nothing here either. Now for the middle. I'll use the X-ray. Hold still. There they are. The keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, oh, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. It's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Have a lovely holiday, Ben. Keep Gaston warm. Have you got food for him? And a cushion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Bye, Gaston. And remember, I don't want to see you again for a long, long time. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Hello, Holly. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Ben. Something very exciting is happening. What's that? My uncle Redbeard is returning from the sea today. He's an elf pirate. Wow, a pirate. We're going to meet him at the river. Do you want to come along, Holly? Nanny Plum, can we go and meet the elf pirate? Why not? Hi, Dad. Oh, hello, Barnaby. Is Uncle Redbeard here? That's him now. Yo ho ho! Wow! Anchors away! Shiver me timbers! If it ain't me nephew Barnaby! <laughs> These are my friends, Ben and Holly. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Redbeard. Ha <laughs> A pleasure, me hearties. And I'm Nanny Plum. A plum is a sweet fruit indeed. The honour is all mine, Missy. Oh! <laughs> For I am Redbeard, the elf pirate! Hello, Fred. Hello, Nigel. Uncle, what was it like being a pirate on the sea? It were a strange life for an elf. Long days staring at the sea, looking for boats. No one to keep me company except Polly. Polly? Yes, me faithful parrot. Bah! This is Polly. Ooh. Pieces of eight. She alone was my companion as we sailed through the endless waters. Pieces of eight. The conversation must have been riveting. Pieces of eight. Uh, were you an evil, nasty, bad pirate? Well, no. The thing is, it's quite hard to be a pirate when you're as small as an elf. All the other boats are so big. Oh, so you didn't do any piratey things at all? Of course I did. What would any self-respecting pirate be without treasure? Ooh. <laughs> and here's me treasure map. Wow. Now then, somewhere on this map, is the hidden treasure. It's a map of the Little Kingdom. Aye, but that's just the start, Miss Shipmates. There'll be a big search with lots of clues. There's no need for a big search and a lot of old fuss. I can magic you some treasure right here. Abracadabra. No, that's cheating. Yes, that's true, Nanny Plum. It's not as exciting. All right. Just trying to save a bit of time. Hmm. There's an X in the meadow. Is that where the treasure is? There's only one way to find out. To the meadow! Wait! We may need a spade. Pirate treasure is often buried in the ground. Ooh! <laughs> it's Fleur and Strawberry. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Hello, me hearties. I'm Redbeard, the elf pirate, and this is me friend Polly. Peace of eight. Ooh, we're looking for hidden treasure. Wow. Aha, there's a riddle on the back of the map. What does it say? Roses are large, the sky is big. Mix them together and you'll know where to dig. Oh, hmm. That's confusing. Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! Dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, 
Another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 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 Hello, Gaston. Well, we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> Ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle! Hello, everybody! He's a right! Oh, goodness me! Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant... Take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map. The X is at the river. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, we're back where we started. Where is the treasure? Uncle, what does the riddle say? <clears throat> Up and down and side to side, it's inside this thing I really hide. The ship goes up and down. And it goes side to side. Yes, yes the, the ship. ship! So that's where the treasure is. That's right. You worked it out. Here it is, me hearties. Oh! Thanks for your help. In finding me treasure. But we're back where we started. And the treasure was here all the time. But didn't we have fun? Aye, Captain Redbeard. I certainly enjoyed it. I suppose it was fun, in a way. Fun is what it's all about when you're an elf pirate. And I'm an elf pirate! <laughs> <laughs> and now... I must return to the distant waters. Goodbye, Uncle Redbeard. Goodbye, Barnaby. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hoist the mainsail, Polly. Weigh anchor. Scrub the decks. Ah, he's a right. Let's get the ship underway. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a pirate. Aha! Me too! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs>
You'll be seeing me again! Don't forget the name! Redbeard! The Elf Pirate! Peace is right! Thank <laughs> you.